beautiful day here on the Jurassic Coast. The sea's still quite rough after the stormy weather in January. I'm heading out as the tide lowers towards the Ammonite graveyard. See what fossils I can find washed up along the beach area here. See what's washed out and head towards the Ammonite graveyard where the sea has been ripping into the ledges and producing quite a lot of damage through that area. So I'm just off now, get up to the Ammonite graveyard, see what's happening there. Here I am at the Ammonite graveyard, it's the western line regions. You can really see that the sea's been ripping out these limestone layers with the beautiful Ammonites in. But the sea's been getting in underneath the soft layer and then ripping up the hard bedrock. And uh, here are all the broken bits on the beach where the sea's actions have been quite devastating to this really quite wonderfully beautiful area of Ammonites. The sea's absolutely torn this place apart in the last few days of January. Really sad to see. There's much, not much of the Ammonite graveyard left here and that's just a consequence of the sea's actions breaking the rocks apart huge waves pounding into the beach area here lifting up the limestone layers here's a really big ammonite just here on the beach broken in half by the sea there's the ammonite specimen quite a big ammonite specimen it must be towards in half by the sea's actions. The sea does the work for you, washing the fossils out of the mudslides onto the beach, but also destroys the material rapidly. But if you don't get hold of these fossils, they can be gone in two or three days. The sea destroying them, the attrition of the sand and sea grinding them down. You don't want to go anywhere near the dangerous cliffs. Always make sure you come out here on low tide looking for the fossil finds. Low tide is the best time to look for fossil finds on the shoreline. You can see washing them out of the mudslides onto the beach. And as long as you don't dig in the cliffs in situ, it would be absolutely stupid to go anywhere near the cliffs. The sea does the work for you, washing them out onto the shoreline. And fossils can be found using the best tools, which are your eyes, along the Jurassic Coast at low tide. Heading round towards Pinay Bay, quite a big storm there coming into the uh, area as I head down the coast looking for fossils. It's almost like a hailstorm coming through. A large ammonite there, fallen down from the, uh, the cliffs onto the beach. Beautiful area of uh, moss on the Jurassic Coast with this uh, fresh water running through it. Right down onto this Lime Bay Agate piece. Some botulinum or calcedony. bit further up the beach and I found some beautiful wood fossilized in chert, agatized and silicified fossil wood from the Cretaceous age found on the beach at low tide. Just heading back now along the Jurassic Coast. It's good to find some really lovely agatized and silicified Jurassic wood on the beach as I showed you earlier. Big waves rolling in now. Here's a piece of the agatized and silicified fossil wood from this area of the coast, through to the west of Lyme Regis. The specimen is preserved in Lyme Bay agate in places, especially in the Torito borings. You can see in the middle of the wood, 
I cut and polished this piece in my lapidary workshop and was really happily surprised to find how the striations of the wood made a lovely effect within the specimen itself as it polished up so nicely.